money on Tim winning, I would bet it because he has easily got the most brains, the most charisma, the most everything of any. He's not a fucking international all star for no reason. He's fucking smart as fuck. He's funny. He's entertaining. I know everyone loves Tim, but they love mm. him for a reason because the hype is real. I think a lot of people have gone back and watched parts of yeah. or his season yeah. to see what he's about. Mm. But I think for me, I wa- I don't really like Big Brother Australia. I think it's a crap format. It's a rubbish show. But I watched his season. Mm. And I just the one defining thing that he did is when he put himself on the block. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing. It's like it's yeah. like the Marcellus, it's like the one move gone right. Yeah, then you he know? shit himself. <laughs> that, he did. But that, it just said it all like that's the kind of player he is. But Nikki, like you say, she shot a bolt in this country yeah, quite she severely. Yeah. She was I mean, obviously her first season is amazing. Mm. And then she was on All Stars, which she was pretty crap on. Mm. And the last time Oh, she was nasty. She was bullying Jack J. But she did show <laughs> she did show remorse for her behaviour. She did actually she did stick up for Brian Bello when he yeah, was getting bullied. She did. But I think now, in a different country, she's got a good chance if she does play that thick card and she could get dragged to the end quite easily. It's not easily. so much even the thick card. It's like, because remember, she's on the live feed, we've seen her saying she knew what the seven wonders of the world were. The man made seven wonders of the world and the natural seven wonders. So she's not thick. She needs to play up the fish out of water strategy. Yeah. That's going to be her calling card. Like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know Canada. I love Canada. I want to find out what Canada's all about. Like, she could really give two fucks. She needs to play up being a weird... Yeah. It's like that guy said, Philip, he said, she... I like her demeanour. Like, she's... Her weird mannerisms. Nikki is all about, like, her strangeness. Like, on that pre-show, Jordan Paha was talking about Nikki. Didn't know anything about her. But it's like, she's like something out of the exorcist. And that's the thing about Nikki. Like, you just look at her and she's pulling her face... She's like she just looks weird. She just is a weird and entertaining person, but and that is her calling card. This is what irritates me about you know all these people, all these people on Twitter. They go oh like BB UK or BB Australia. Oh, it's just like a glorified popularity contest, which is true. But the thing is, in order to play that game and to play it well, you need to be popular first of all with your fellow housemates. And secondly, with the public. Obviously, with the public in this case, generally speaking, with Canada, it doesn't count. But if the housemates like you, you are less likely to be nominated. So and it does count because Canada gets the vote on certain twists. And certain, certain twists. Certain. But all Big Brother is a popularity contest. Look at Big Brother US. Even though there's no outside contact, for all stars, they vote in people who are favourites. To win, you have to be liked by your fellow housemates. All Big Brother is is a popularity contest. If like, you boil how, it down, how many times have you watched BB USA and the person that you like the most has gone first week like that? So many Normally, times. Normally, it's their own fault if that happens. It's true. Look at last year's Big Brother Canada, for example. The final two was Godfrey and Sarah, both terrible players, but both good big personalities people you like good tv and that's the thing about canada it's likable people who go far in it right like the opposite of peter brown (laughs) oh god hey peter hey peter fuck off peter so uh we reveal that tim and nikki were going and do we even need jason veronica no but do they need the 5,000 obviously they do now is it 5,000 canadian or 5,000 us thing no i did and also, while we're on it, how much do you think Nikki mm. and Tim Dormer got for going on that show? I have no idea. It's, the prize is £100,000, mm. rather, which I think is probably about £60,000, I could be wrong. That's nothing. Um, <laughs> Nikki Graham m- must be at least twenty to £30,000. At least, because she wouldn't do that for like and nothing. That's not including actually going deep in the game. Mm. So yeah, yeah, I would imagine they're both on about the same. And so, did you think Veronica and Jace took it well when they didn't get voted in? They seem to almost walk off. I know like they're they horrified. Were perfectly happy about that. No, they seem bitter. No, they were just. It's just like right. Go on, check. <laughs> See you Bye-bye. later. Do you know how many times I voted for Tim and Nikki? Uh no. Uh, roughly about five hundred, I'd say. I think, I think <laughs> most people did. Most people did. <laughs> but it was worth it. It was worth it to get what I wanted. Um, and then just before they went in, Tim said, oh, I thought I was going to be the dumb one, but I think she's got it covered. In fact, Nikki, just before they went in, why did he put Nikki on blast just as they went in? And then right. he went, no, nah, don't worry, we'll work together as they walked in. And then they walked down the stairs, they come straight out that side door. <laughs> Could you understand what was going on there? No, but you, you were confused. <laughs> Explain. What did you... 
<laughs> well, Lindsay saw there's a big on the BB Grand where Ari- Arissa presents. There's a huge bunch of TV screens, and they show footage from inside the house. And where <laughs> Tim and Nikki were walking down the stairs into the house, Lindsay was confused and thought they'd taken like a wrong turn and come back out into the studio. They're like waving hi, everyone. But it was all just the magic of TV, so that was quite misleading. They need to like sort that out for next time. Yes, dear. <laughs> So, were you pleased to hear that Tim and Nikki were safe for the week? I was, I was, I was pleased, but I think also in itself that's a little bit of a target. But I think also it's the best solution because it just keeps them out of it for the first Mm. while at least. Well, they can, yeah, let's get to know people and so on. So, I was actually surprised when we watched tonight's show, i.e., Sunday night show, that the other housemates weren't coming into the diary room and slating them all going, oh my God, what are these international people doing here? They've got no right to be here. I thought they'd all be like proper angry, didn't you? It did proper. It didn't, <laughs> it didn't seem that way. They I seemed, th- if anything, they seemed more open to working with them yeah. than against them. But I think that speaks to the people that Tim and Nikki are, that they are, you know, ingratiate themselves quite easily that the others weren't angry like they were thinking oh how can we weaponize these people rather than oh we need to get these people out and I think you're right I think Nikki will be dragged along as a goat and if they actually believe this bullshit coming out of Tim's mouth oh how do you do a HOH oh what's a veto if they actually believe that Tim doesn't know that they must be stupid and I think maybe they are stupid but do you think that when Tim just for example Mm. has to win an HOH or has to win a veto Mm. do you think you'll be able to do that yes I think Tim is a comp beast. I do too. What about Nikki Graham? <laughs> no, but if it's a crapshoot, she's got a good chance. But that's the whole thing. The whole there's hardly any point to put both those people in there. Yeah. But not to see how they cope with the strategic game. So unless one of them wins something, mm. then it's almost for nothing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Unless they both hang back and float towards the end but mm. I don't think that's gonna that's gonna work out so well I think if Canada gets a vote of who to be HOH they will vote Tim or Nikki they should do but they don't normally jig it that heavily do they they do like, jig it they'll make Canada the HOH but not actually say oh Canada decides mm. who the HOH is we'll see we'll see but um I was gonna say something else and I forgot Never well, mind. that's great podcasting for so, you. So, we're on to... Shut up. So, we're on to tonight's show, Sunday night show. Oh, yeah. Two brothers, one personality. <laughs> so, when your chips are down, when your Should highs I are low... Know? Did you? So, Tim walked in the house and he went, these are the people that hate us. That's a good thing to say as you walk in, isn't it? Mm. And then... um Hold on. Oh, yeah. They, t- Tim and Nikki were, like, introducing themselves. And Nikki was like, oh, I've been in it four times, but I have, I've never won it. Tim was like, you haven't won? I was in first time. I'm going myself. Should you be bragging like that in Big Brother Canada? Well, the, obviously, no one knows <laughs> yeah. who they are. No one has the slightest idea about their game. Yeah. Except for maybe like that Steve Moses guy or some idiot like that. Yeah. Yeah. Who actually watches International Big Brother? Because last year it was Jordan well, Paha or Jason Roy or whatever. From what we've seen, no yeah, one. No and one. Definitely, no one's seen season four or whatever Nikki was on her first season. Definitely, no one's seen Big Brother Australia. That's for sure. <laughs> Back in, they couldn't even get an Australian to watch. That's why they cancelled it. <laughs> but you said that format shit. That format wasn't shit. But anyway, it is. It no, is it's shit. not. It's not. The nomination booth is classic. So then, um, oh, this, the point. No, uh, the point system. Is the good. point system. Yeah. The way they nominate with yeah. points is sublime. Some of their tasks were good as well. Like when they made Ed do that date. That was good. There was loads of good tasks. Yeah. Anyway, shut. So then, uh, Tim. <laughs> Tim goes. <laughs> He said, they go, oh, do you have challenges in BBUS? Right. And he went, no, we just have tasks, so wipe that scowl off your face to that Christine. That's funny, man. Coming in and being that abrasive, that is proper funny. That's proper strong gameplay. And then Nikki was feeling overwhelmed. Now, do you think that she's <laughs> playing around or? That's what I've written, fake overwhelmed. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I don't want to be centre of attention, but... <laughs> it is funny, though, having <laughs> Nikki Graham play Big Brother in one of the c- coldest countries in the whole yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, that is classic. And <laughs> the last HOH they just did with the cold water, she wouldn't have fared too well without her. No, think. she wouldn't. I liked it when someone said to her, oh, so what do you do for a living then? On the live <laughs> feed? And she's like, um... I've got a fashion range. And he was like, oh, okay. So what do you do on an average day? She's like, hmm, uh, go to the gym, read emails. <laughs> uh, like literally does nothing all day long. And then he was like, so what did you used to do? She's like, 
I worked in Clarins. <laughs> no, but she said she used to work on a, was it a pig farm? Makeup counter. No, she said, oh, I used to work on a fishing boat. That's it. <laughs> because she, after Big Brother, she had a reality show on E4 called <laughs> Princess Nikki, where basically each week they make her work down the sewage works, anything stinky, anything smelly, like anything <laughs> gross. So she must have done that fishing, it was a, like a trawler boat or something, wasn't it? <laughs> but she can't Classic. really say she really worked on a fishing boat. That was just like a TV show. Well. Well, near enough. So then, um, oh yeah, she had a little cotton bud cry. That was quite nice. But do um, you, right? Do you or do you not? Personally, when I watch the live feeds, if Tim and Nikki aren't on, maybe this is just me because I'm British. But I just think like these feeds are crap. I would not be watching. We've watched the actual live feeds, not just the after dark. I would not even sniff at those fucking live feeds if Nikki and Tim went on. The live feeds last year were rotten. Tim Dormer is one of the best people to have on Big Brother in the ever. entire world ever. Ever. Nikki Graham, okay, not so much. But you know what? If she, if I know that she's on, I would definitely watch yeah, her. Hundred, hundred percent. Nikki is fascinating to watch, even though ten years later she's still fascinating to watch. Um. I was into that story about when her sister came to my writing group. I went <laughs> anyway. Her sister came to my writing group, and I'm spotted that she was Nikki's sister. And then she wrote her name down. It was Natalie Gray, and I was like, "Oh my god, she looked just like her." The facial expressions. It was oh my god. Anyway, but those live feeds. Oh, all these, all these other podcasts like oh, our live feed correspondent. I'll be your fucking live feed correspondent. It's people going on and on about food. Oh, what do you do in Australia? Oh well. We got koalas. They got chlamydia. Uh, <laughs> have you ever seen a shark? Yeah. Have you had a Barbie? Yeah. What about you, Nikki? Do you drink tea? Have you ever met the Queen? It's just like the most cliche conversations ever. No, it's actually quite fascinating. I like hearing people talk about the, their own countries that they come from. But Tim said he was looking forward to seeing a squirrel. There's no squirrels in Australia. Did you know that? Squirrel. <laughs> yeah. um... No, I didn't know that. He's but I do know that when I went to Canada, mm. I saw some funky kind of <laughs> nighttime creatures. Not oh, yeah? foxes, but uh-huh. something like a fox. Mm, that sounds now, nice. I don't know what that animal was. Our Canadian listeners, please write in and tell us what animal but that was. But it frocks me the freak out. And can you send us a photo of it? Because I would like to see it because I like foxes. And Tim said the, one of the biggest pests they have in Australia Marsu- is the possum. Are the marsupials. Yeah, the, yeah, they are marsupials. The possum. It was just like really weird. But anyway, he's going, oh, I don't know why people are worried about sharks. Who gives a shit? <laughs> that shark net don't do anything. Just go swimming anyway. <laughs> you think that shark strategy is going to see him through? Oh, That's an know. interesting thing to hear about the live feed. Unlike people sitting around talking about fucking maple syrup and, I don't know, but you Canadian know, pursuits. This is, what, this is what they always <laughs> say about BBUSA. Is if, as much as like someone might be the ultimate master strategist, they might be the best player, they might be a competition beast... If you actually genuinely like someone, you like talking yeah, to them, yeah. and you go on them, it's very, very hard to put that p- person up, and yeah. also very hard to vote that person out. And that's the thing with Tim and Nikki, they're both charming. They're both complete narcissists, complete arrogant arseholes, fucking think they're the best in yeah. sliced bread, but they're both very, very charming. And also, I don't want to say, like, oh, I'm really anti-Canada now, because... The first season of Big River Canada, I was so fascinated by Canadians. I was like, oh, I like the way they say oot, I like the way they say who's. I thought they were such a cool mixture of people. Now, second season, third season, boring, seen it all. It's like you, Big River UK, we've only got like a small pool of people. You need more backstabbers, more liars, more assholes, more wankers. It's like with B- like, BB Canada is so straight and BB Australia is really straight. BB UK, you come over here, you get a fucking new asshole ripped out of you. We fucking... Nikki must be swearing left, right and centre. Do you know what I mean? One thing I will say is... The, I was worried that they won't get a, get a chance to shine in the diary rooms, Tim and Nikki, because that's their forte, isn't it? Diary room warriors. But they did actually show both of them in the diary room sort of acting up, didn't they? What's the Ooh. point to have them on otherwise? What is she... I don't know this game. I don't know how to play this game. Yeah, she does. Do you think Nikki has watched any episodes of Big River Cannon? Well, she must We do. know for a fact that Tim Dormer has revised, and I'll bet you... At least 30 quid that um, <laughs> she is revised as well. She must have seen a couple of episodes. Of course, and you know what? Even when they sequester you for that show, it's like mm-hmm. a week long process. Exactly. And they put you in there with previous seasons. At, yeah. least, at least one. Normally, like a US one to watch as well. I don't know. Ask Jordan Parha. <laughs> but do you know what <laughs> ask I mean? Brett so <laughs> if you're sat in a hotel room for a week doing nothing, you're going to watch it, aren't you? Of course. So, of course. She so, must be like watching Emmett cheat with the, putting the bees in his pocket going, <laughs> oh yeah, remember that one? That's a good trick. 
So then the next HOH competition, now they've imported something else from the UK because it was a shit stir task. 